Hello, chipsters! It's big bag experiment time again. We learned that gravity was very important, but I wonder if we can defy it. Let's find out. First, we're going to make our background. Place your papers into the box. If it is too big, you can stuff them in the edge, like this. Then, use tape to stick your papers together. Take your large paper out of the box. Use your color pencils or markers to draw your background. I'm going to draw a big rainbow and some clouds. You can draw whatever you like. We're not done with the background yet. Let us grab our template and cut out the decorations. You don't have to use all the decorations, just the ones you want. When you have your decorations cut out, you can use some glue to stick the decoration onto your background. You can also use your glue to stick the cotton buds in the clouds to make them nice and fluffy. Now that our background is done, we can add it back into the box. Remember to be careful. We don't want to ruin our masterpiece. Time to defy gravity. Grab a piece of blue tack and a coin-shaped magnet. Stick the blue tack on one end of the magnet so that you can stick the magnet on the top of the box. Grab a piece of string and tie a paper clip on each end of the string. Only tie one knot on each side, so we can adjust it later. This step can get quite difficult, so ask your grown-up to help you. Now, with our paper clips and string, we are going to use one of the paper clips to clip the bottom of the box. Then, we are going to use the other paper clip and try to gently drag it towards the magnet. The paper clip should not directly touch the magnet. You might need to adjust the string a bit. Don't be afraid to ask your grown up to help. Your paper clip should look like this. Wow, look! Our paper clip is defying gravity. Isn't that amazing? Now, you can decorate the gravity-defying paperclip. To do this, cut out a flying object from the experiment worksheet and use tape to stick it to the paperclip. You can also make your own flying objects as well. If we look closely, we can see that the magnet is not letting the paperclip fall to the ground. As the upward magnetic force acting on the paperclip is equal to the downward gravitational force, the string here helps us find the sweet spot where the two forces are equal. This allows the paperclip to levitate in midair. Isn't that so cool? Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial.